Port Royal in Naples, Florida has some of the biggest and most expensive waterfront homes in America. Today, we're gonna go house hunting and check out some of the active listings in the most expensive neighborhood in the country. Hello everyone, I'm Connor Ashley with Nosy Neighbor Real Estate, and if you love real estate, make sure you like this video and subscribe to Nosy Neighbor Real Estate for new videos every single week. Check out our blog at nosyneighborrealestate.com for links to all these listings and the realtors. Let's get started. I was honestly surprised. So Port Royal in Naples, Florida, I have been there. I've driven around. These houses are massive. They're huge. They're huge. And I was really surprised because when I looked on Zillow, I was thinking like, oh, there's going to be so many listings. Honey, there were three that weren't lots, but there were three homes on the market at the time of filming this. And I was like, okay, so I guess all of the billionaires are um, buying up all the real estate, just like everyone else in this time. So this first one is at 4540 Gordon Drive in Naples, Florida. It's four bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and over 8,000 square feet. Who's cleaning that? Who is cleaning 8,000 square feet? You need a full-time staff to take care of that. Anyway, uh, this price is, or this house is listed at $49,500,000. So basically you have to be like a billionaire to buy this house. So I can't imagine it's just flying off the shelves, but then again, um, I was thinking there would be more listings in here and there's only three. So somebody's buying these houses. First off, let's take a look at the map. Here you are, right off the beach, private beach, right on the end here in Port Royal. Look at that, Port Royal, wow. And you are right there. You basically have like your own beachfront. Right there, just south of Naples, Port Royal. You are rich, you're rich if you live here. I just wanna show you real quickly what the estimated taxes are on this property. Let's take a peek, right? Yeah. So for 2020, the property taxes were $252,000. I don't make that, I, I don't think I've ever made, in all my years of living, $252,000. So. And imagine having to pay that in one year just for your property taxes, not your mortgage, not your electricity, not your staff. Look at this house, I love it. The other two are very surprising, you'll see why, but this one is definitely my favorite. It's like a French chateau, but on the beach in Southwest Florida. So, um, yep, there is your private beach. All that. And I don't think it's actually private. I think people can go on that beach if they walk far enough, but like, you're right on the beach. I mean, who cares? Beautiful front door, beautiful arches, love the tile roofs. I love like the beige plaster stucco look. Oh, so cute. These interior like courtyard hallways with the brick. I can't even imagine how expensive this was. And look at that pool. I mean, just stunning, stunning. Look at all that grass, right on the beach, right on the ocean. You have dolphins in your backyard. Dolphins in your backyard. Here's some of the outdoor space. I wouldn't be surprised if that furniture cost more than my house that I'm living in right now. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, perfectly manicured, perfectly green. Here's like this entryway here with this huge sculpture on the wall. Don't know what it is, but I'm sure it was expensive. Here's your interior courtyard, because why not? Again, see what I mean? It has very like Italian villa, French chateau, like that kind of vibe, and I love it. But then the interior is still sort of has hints of that, but still is modern and updated. Huge. Living room, love the beams and the ceilings. Dining room, lovely. Views everywhere. Built-in fireplace. Here's like your library. Rich people have libraries. Here's your second kitchen. Not your first kitchen, your, your second kitchen. This is where the chefs cook so that people can't see them during your dinner parties. And here's your other kitchen. <laughs> like, look how thick that marble is or whatever it is, that stone. I mean, it's insane. And still, yeah, look at, you have the brick on the ceiling, 
that huge hood over the range, I can't be done. And I'm sure that on this island that is hand carved wood. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Great. Oh, look at that ceiling there. It's almost like you're in, I don't know, like an old church in France overlooking the ocean. So beautiful. All the ceilings are so nice. Like every detail is just perfectly done. Here's a little outside area. There's so many seating areas. I'm. That's something with like huge rich houses is like there's just couch after couch after sectional after couch. I'm like, who has time? If you're this rich, you probably are working a lot. So how, do you have time to enjoy your couch? Maybe not. Grand staircase. I mean, the location definitely sells this house. Oh, this is like an underground dungeon catacomb wine cellar dining area. Wow. I mean, really, it is an estate. Look at that view. Just over the ocean, over the water. You could just jump right in there. Crystal clear water. The water is really nice in Naples. It is nice. Wow. So this is the next house. It's much smaller than the first one. Four bedroom, seven bathroom, 5,780 square feet. Less than 6,000. Don't know how I feel about that. It's $22,900,000 at 1070 Nelson's Walk in Naples, Florida. Again, just absolutely massive. Great location on the water. Look at that. Right on the water. Now you're not on the beach. Like the $50 million one for 25 million or 22 million, you get on the on the bay, you know? So if you have a boat, you can park your boat. I don't know if the other one had a boat slip. I don't think it did. Didn't have a boat slip done. But um, I'm sure whoever lives in that house probably has a yacht and they leave it at the yacht club. But whoever lives in this house, they can park their own boat right out front. So this one I love because it's very like coastal. It's just very nice, clean, coastal, like exactly what you'd think. Whatever you're thinking, that's what this house is. But it's massive, it's a mansion, so. Great, beautiful, nice. Look at that view. It is a really nice view. And I will say views on the bay are more interesting because there's more things happening, more birds, more wildlife, boaters going by. And look at the view. So you are looking here into the living room, out over your pool, out onto the bay. I mean, really nice. All the woodwork, the wainscoting, the, the ceiling. I mean, it's really beautiful. You have that dark wood floor, the golden white accents with the blue, very coastal, very nice. Lovely kitchen, all white, really thick stone. Again, beautiful appliances. It's just, it's like very like Martha Stewart, you know, like coastal Martha Stewart, Hamptons, Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, it's really pretty, it's really nice. I mean, that wallpaper alone on this wall in the TV room is probably more expensive than my life. Let's take a look here. One of the bedrooms looks like it leads right out to the pool. Beautiful views. Oh, I love the tile in there. It's very nice, very pretty. It's it's almost a little feminine for me, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Great little office here. Another guest room. Oh, and you're on an elevator. Right, because you have to have an elevator. Look how cool it is. It's almost like a, it looks like a cruise ship elevator or something, but like a Titanic elevator, like a yacht elevator. Really, really nice. The outdoor area here, it's like indoor, outdoor living. You have this TV and fireplace and sitting area and dining area. And you can look right out to the bay, right on your pool, right on your boat. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is so nice. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? For 23 million, I can't. I can't imagine, but we're gonna try. Look at that. That looks so peaceful. It's like you're living at a resort every day, but who's taking care of it? Who's cleaning it? Who's taking care of the landscaping? That costs money. Lots of money here. All right, here's the last property, and this one is a little surprising. It is 
only 12 million, 450,000. And it is um, what I would consider a fixer upper, especially when you compare it to the other two properties. Uh, and I think other people would say it's a fixer upper too. Now, I would love to live here as is. I will take it as is, not at 12 million, but at a lower price, much lower. Um, but I would think that other people are gonna consider this a fixer upper. So it's $12,450,000, five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and it's 7,000 square feet. So it's big, it's almost as big as that first one. So this is a huge place. You're getting real bang for your buck here. It's at 3150 Gin Lane in Naples, Florida. Take a look at the map again. We're in Port Royal, waterfront, love that. There you go. Now you're on a canal sort of where you're looking at other houses, whereas the other two you weren't looking at other houses. So you give and you take, you know. It's a hard knock life for billionaires. Okay, here we go. Outside, really nice, nice big house, you know. Great pool, infinity edge, hot tub. Here's the inside, grand staircase, two level. It's very like 2008 kind of vibes, you know what I mean? Like, like kind of that. Huge fireplace, very decorative and fancy. Great big kitchen, granite countertop, solid wood cabinets, really expensive appliances. I mean, it's a really nice kitchen, it's just, Dated. And that red was just not the right choice, but it's beautiful. I mean, the architecture is pretty, the ceilings are beautiful, that arch is really nice, and all those windows are beautiful. I mean, who's gonna Windex those? That would be a full day of Windexing, all those windows. Anyway, great living room here, huge dining room. I don't even know that many people, so I could never fill that table. Great office here. Again, it's a beautiful house. Has really nice high-end updates, high-end finishes. You know, it's just not the same as the other two, and that's why it's half the price of the last one. I love this blue. That's kind of cute. It's kind of like French inspired in this room. Great big bathroom. Two separate showers. Love that. Little dated. Again, we knew that. Here's your movie theater. The other ones didn't have a movie theater. No, it's a really nice house. Needs some work, but it's a nice house. Now, I wouldn't spend 12 million here, but again, I don't have 12 million, so we're just looking at bedrooms and bathrooms and bedrooms and bathrooms. Oh, jeez, okay. These are some huge houses. I mean, I can't even fathom buying any of them, ever, in my lifetime. I'll never have this much money in my lifetime, but it's fun to dream, you know? So if you're dreaming or if, if you're just rich, let me know which one of the three is your favorite. I definitely like the first one the best, but the second one definitely has its pros. And the third one, you can swoop in for only 12 million, fix it up, and it's probably will, would be worth like double, or triple the price. So that's it for today, folks. NosyNeighborRealEstate.com. I'll have all the listings linked in the blog, which will be linked down below. Comment which one is your favorite. All the realtors will also be linked down below in case any of my viewers are really rich. Go ahead. If you want representation on one of these, I'm happy to do so. I'm with Compass Real Estate here in Florida. I would be honored, really. <laughs> no, but seriously. Anyway, um, yeah, subscribe. New videos every week. I'm really tired. It's like midnight, so I'm gonna go to bed. Good night.